still trying to throw the ball On first and goal, second and goal Panicking at third Fourth, I'm wishing for a month Welcome to the 510 Huddle We got special guest Cam Oliver in How you doing today, bro? Chilling, man. How y'all doing, bro? I appreciate it. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We also got uh, D Lane uh, as our host. Um, Lane, can you give us a quick background on our boy Cam? Cam, man, this is my folks right here. This, this, me and Cam go way back. Cam, most yes, people sir. don't know Cam. Cam is uh, officially our first hooper on the podcast. You are you our sir. first hooper on the podcast. Cam, yeah, but, yeah. But most won't <laughs> know unless they know me, know me or know you, like and know each other like we know each other. That you actually started playing football first, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, okay. that we did, man. Yeah, yeah. Big tall asses out there. For no, you, you and Keith, man. You and uh, Keith, y'all was like the two tallest <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers out there on the field, bro. Yeah, we were. We actually ended up um, crazy after we played with, I played with East Bay for like, what, three years? East Bay worked for like three years with him. But that, after that first year, we actually ended up playing AU basketball with each other for the Oakland Kings. Okay. Uh, that's my brother right there. Okay, <laughs> okay. Most definitely. So, what ultimately made you choose football or basketball over uh, uh, over football? Uh, pretty much, man. Uh, I got taller, bro. <laughs> for real, for yeah. real. Um, yeah. I think mainly um, it was like the injuries and everything. Like I think about last year, I played with like uh, man, I can't think of the team. It was last time I played with, but I ended up hurting my knee. I, my I think it was, it was with you, D. I think uh, my last year I played bro. with Jermaine and them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we had squad that year too. I know, I, yeah, I know, I know what team you talking about. Yeah, yeah. And I got hurt. I got hurt that uh, that jamboree. And uh, I think ever since then, I think I just kind of like just kind of just, uh, just let it go a little bit. I mean, I try to stay involved in it, but I never really like play like like uh, organized basketball like that. So I started getting tall and everything, and I was like, man, I was just trying to hoop thing. I always played like on the side or whatever, but I mean, it's kind of just the hoop. The hoop was kind of really calling my name or anything. Did you ever think about playing football? You are our uh, first hooper, but our second guest from Grand High. Um, and you guys also had a great hooper. Uh, Trey, uh, Trey Henderson. Oh, my boy Trey. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Haven't dropped it yet. we haven't dropped it yet, but yeah, Trey, Trey's yeah. been on the show. It's coming soon. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, he's doing his thing on the Bengals. So, um, right. and I also played, uh, I played Juco uh, with uh, my boy Ricky. I know he went to Grand as well. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's so yeah. Boy. Did, did you ever think about uh, playing with them? I, I did. Uh, you guys had a uh, sample played as well, right? Yep, James. Shoot, man. I mean, I go, oh, that team was good. Bro, I go out a whole list of football players like that, man. But uh, yeah, going there at first, I never really knew nothing much about it uh, when I moved to site. But uh, everybody was telling me, like, man, like, all the purpose for to go to was Grant. And I was like, well, I ain't really no football player, you know what I'm saying? I'm more of a Hoover, you know, so. I mean, I went out there. They, they tried to recruit me to come play. I actually was gonna play my uh, my junior year in high school, but I ended up turning my ACL. So um, I was like, Nah, I might as well just just chill. I know it's gonna be a lot of damage. I mean, a lot of wearing and tearing my knees and stuff playing. So I was like, I might as well kind of focus on this hoop. But yeah, man. I mean, going to Grand, bro. I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like being there and those football games, man. Like it was, it was so like it was like college, bro. <laughs> it was like college being in the football games, bro. And it's just mm. known for the fact that you got star players on your team. We got pretty much players who going to go to the league in a matter of two years, you know, being there, bro. So it, it was dope going to some football games. Bro. That's like literally everything you look forward to going to Grand Man, going to a football game. Yeah, you got a little high school experience. You feel like you got a better high school experience uh, up at Grant compared to? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, I mean, I, w I wasn't trading in the world going to Grand, bro. You know, I, even though I had my times where through my freshman year when I moved from Oakland to Sac, and I hated it, bro. I hated Sacramento. Like, I'm like, this is this is a foreign country out here, boy. Like, I ain't never been out here before. So it was it was way different. You know, I mean, I had to really adjust. Cause I, I wanted to be back home so bad. But, no, nah, I, w I wasn't trading going to Grand for the world, bro. I mean, it was, it was probably one of the best things I've had in my life. I mean, sure, I met my wife at, at Grand High School, so. Mm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Say that anywhere for the world. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what's up. Um, Cam, I was gonna ask you your first piece of organized ball. Was it with the, that year with the Kings? Yep, it was. Hey, you, so <laughs> yeah. you was on the team with a Q and Trevor and all them. Yeah. Yeah. You remember my team, bro? We had battles with y'all, bro. I played with Express. Yeah. Come, bro, yeah. Bro, when I tell you, 
I, I, I tell people all the time, man, only person, cause I'm really a defensive player, you feel me? I think I can do some things yeah. on offense, but the only player that really, like, can cross me and cross me hard is Trevor Dunbar, bro. Trev, yeah. Trev, yeah. Trev yeah. Rockin' <laughs> shit. Trev, <laughs> Trev, <laughs> Trev, and it was during them battles, man, but we, y'all had um Junior, you had your yep. boy jump, man. Y'all had, yeah. had a pretty nice squad, man. We we used to have some battles for real. Yeah, yeah, we had we had a squad for sure. It was, it was two teams. I was going back and forth, like the older team and the younger team and stuff. That, but yeah, I was with Trev and Kill, Day Day, you know, all yeah, bro. They had a squad yeah. for sure. We hoop over there by uh, our practice facility was on over there by eighty six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, what other AU teams did you play for? You didn't play for the Rebels, did you, Cam? No, nope, I didn't play for the Rebels. Uh, I was about to play for the Soldiers. In high school, but I mean, it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff happened with that. But I ended up playing with uh, with Spirit Got Game out here. It's in fact, it was sponsored by uh, one of the old team players named Bobby Jackson. He's a real close family friend to me. And um, ended up playing for the Compton Magic, too. Okay, okay. Compton Magic. Um, Juwan didn't play for them, did he? You know, Juwan, the guard that went to uh, Cal State East, I thought Juwan played for them. Yeah, Juwan. I think Juwan's up there uh, in the battle with me, my freshman year. Okay, okay, okay. I thought, but did he play? He didn't play Compton Magic too, did he? Nah, he played Compton Magic. I think he played with. Uh, I think Juwan played with a few other teams. Right? To be honest with you, Juwan. Yeah, Juwan's another baller, man. He played on Express. He was he was on the uh, younger team than me. Um, but yeah, Juwan, Juwan, pure point guard. One of one of the yeah, pure one point, of, pure yeah, point. That's, point. That's the rookie right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pick and roll. he had pick and roll game as like a, like a twelve year old. You feel me? Crazy mm-hmm. pick and roll game, mm-hmm. most, most definitely. So, uh, Cam, throughout your career, man, you 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 suffered a few injuries, minor and major injuries. What, what what's motivated you to keep playing through those injuries? And um, just get, what's your why? What, what what's the reason for you to keep going, brother? Man, I'm from Oakland, bro. <laughs> for real, for real. I mean. We we don't stop at nothing, bro. We don't stop at nothing. I mean, we we know adversity. We we know it's gonna come with with the game where we're going through, whatever path we're going through. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, besides that too, man. I mean, I feel I got a lot of shit to prove, bro. You know, and um, I think uh being so um underrated, you know, during that times, man, during high school and going through injuries in high school and my going to college and everything, bro, and going and like, going and drafting and stuff. It was just I got so much to prove, man, and it just happened that God just keep kind of hitting me with these little little obstacles right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I had to. I know for a fact there's gonna be the you know the the greater good to it, you know. So I had to kind of really just hop over these obstacles and keep going and keep going, you know. But at the time, man, I think this last injury I just had shoot, last year when I broke my ankle, you know, I think that that really hit me through a loop, you know, just because I ain't never really had no successful healthy season, you know. So I'm like, damn, bro, like, <laughs> like is it? It is who it is. I mean, being a being an athlete for me, you know what I'm saying. Not even just playing just basketball, like just being an athlete. You know what I'm saying. Like, if I go into any other profession, like if I was gonna happen again or whatever. So, for me to actually have a successful season this 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 past this last season we just had, you know, it, it was a blessing to have that too. Especially coming from an ankle injury like that. I mean, that was so significant and so major. You know, um, it really helped me, bro. But I mean, just just being about to prove, bro. To be honest with you, man, and having a family, you know, having having a wife and kids, you know, that's that's a that's a big toll on me. That's a big task for me to take. You know what I'm saying? And it's being from the being from the town, bro. You know what I'm saying? We it's hard to make it out of there, man. You know, so yeah, it's just especially, I mean, and, and me going to me moving from there to Sacramento, it wasn't no different, bro. I went to Grand High School, bro. I mean, if you look it up, I mean and look at the area it's in, it ain't it's just like Oakland, you know what I'm saying? So it's I mean, you, you, you don't make it or some people do make it, you know what I'm saying? So I had to really kinda of go through a lot, a lot of things in college, especially when I was in high school too, you know, like uh being a basketball team, you know, it's because they're they football. That's a football school. So trying to bring them up and, and be a powerhouse, too, that was tough, too, as well. So, I mean, we had our we had our moments. Like, we, we was able to make it pretty far my senior year, but we got cut short both sections in the uh, state. So, but, I mean, besides that, I mean, they they still doing good. I actually think last year they just won their first section. So that was always a blessing to see, too. Cam, I, I was going to ask you, have you ever thought about or tried some – some uh, water training methods. I know when I train, um, I just feel like uh, training underneath water. You know, it works on those little muscles. Those, those other, it works every muscle in your body. And um, mm-hmm. you being a bigger guy, I think a bigger, uh, bigger guy as far as your frame. I just feel like you know it's probably those little kinks, some little muscles, those little joints that you know just been knocking, knocking you over uh, throughout your career. Um, I don't know if you ever tried that, but I know uh, it worked out for me pretty well. Some, some underwater. Uh, training. Yeah, I did. I did a little bit of it. To be honest with you, bro, I mean, 
I went back. I went back home and we start going to uh the Redwood City, I'm going up them hills, some stairs over there, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. Like really just went down to the grind, bro. Just really went over there, kind of be secluded from everybody. Went over there, really start working out. You know, I ride a bike a lot too. I was doing like a lot of biking shit, bro. So I, I, I rode bike around my apartments. I go a couple, four or five miles, whatever, bro. So that really helped me too. But I did a, a couple water stuff. It ain't that much access out here to go to like a lot of water, like aerobics type stuff mm-hmm. out yeah. here. Yeah, definitely not right now. Yeah. Definitely not right now. But I yeah. mean, at first, when of course, was available, I tried it. I mean, I tried it a few times, but I definitely tried to do it a lot more, though. You need to get on that TV 12 method, the avocado ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that TV 12. Yeah. 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 What about that? <laughs> What's, what is it? Is that ply, ply metrics? Is that, yeah, is that he, don't do, he don't do any weights, uh, strictly bands, diet. Like, uh, he's all about inflammation. So, you keep all your inflammation down mm-hmm. so you sure. can't get hurt. Uh, he started that when he tore his ACL. He said he never wanted to get hurt again. Thomas yeah. had one injury in 20 years. So, <laughs> yeah. the, proof, the, proof, the proof is in the pudding. Cam, before you made the transition to Nevada, uh, Reno of Nevada, what what happened at or, uh, Oregon State with the coaching staff? Was it just not a fit? I, I know you said you sat out the freshman year after you committed to yeah. Oregon State out of Grant, and um, it was mainly because of the coaches. Was it not a fit? Did they not see you uh, uh, as uh, the same type of player in their program? What what, what happened? What was the case? And then tell us how you got to uh, Nevada. Uh, yeah, so I had committed to them, like, uh, like to the end of my senior year. I, I committed to uh, Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson, he's a uh, he's Michelle Obama's brother. So okay. He's the head coach there over there, yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. Situation over there. Uh, moms loves him. Pops loves him. You know what I'm saying? I love the area over there. I was over there, with big bro, uh, Langston, Langston Morris Walker. Then uh. Or behind, yeah, right? Behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there with him. I was there with uh, Gabe Payton, uh, son too. So it was a cool vibe, like in the players' wise, but. Um, they had got fired before I even got there, like over there for the summer. You know, you got like, freshman, you got to go for the summer, like little, uh, you know, little class and sessions, whatever. So I went. I mean, during the time I got fired, they they was in the process of finding a new coach. So uh, I hired a new coach, and I think I I think when in that certain process, when like a coach get fired, they really don't want the same recruits. You know what I'm saying? They want to come like a fresh, like a fresh plate. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want nothing from the last person. Like, I'm coming here from like a new type of mindset or whatever. So I think. He kind of, uh, I just, I, I felt a cold shoulder. You know, I mean, I felt like he wasn't really trying to like make a big effort to kind of really keep me there. You know, what I'm saying like I'm there, I, I, I kept my commitment. You know, what I'm saying I went out there for the summer. It just wasn't the right fit no more. It, it didn't feel like the same exact feeling I had when I visit there and talk to the coaches, or whatever the coaches I did have at first. So, I mean, I, I took them upon myself. Like I'm not going to be somewhere where I'm uncomfortable, bro. Like that's the worst thing you want to do, especially when you're away from home. You don't want to be uncomfortable somewhere. That's my first year and everything, so I'm like, I want to be as comfortable as possible. So I ended up staying out that year, uh, sat out, just worked out, bro. I ended up got a job, bro. I ended up working at Dollar Tree. Like, I was doing, <laughs> I was doing everything, bro. I was that real college, that real college grind. Man, for real, for real. Worked at Dollar Tree, bro. I ended up working at this uh, call center with my girl. Then um, after that, uh, the one of the coaches that was um, at Oregon State with me, that was on the coaches that got fired, ended up getting a job in Reno. So it was kind of like uh, we just tapped in with each other. He was like, hey, man, I'm going to get this job in Reno, you know, and he used to do that recruiting in Oregon State. So I was like, I'm comfortable with you. You know, everywhere you go, I, I mean, I'm pretty much, I follow the lead, you know what I'm saying? So, and uh, happened to Eric Musselman. Uh, he left Arizona State to go to uh, be the coach in Nevada, and he was already recruiting Arizona State too. So it was kind of a win-win situation, you know. So I went there. It was close. I mean, Reno only like two hours away from Sac. So uh, it was right then and there. Good good situation to go there. Everybody knew, you know what I'm saying? So it was perfect fit for me. Was yeah. was Mike was Mike your coach? Uh, and for people who don't know, Mike is the former coach of the Warriors. I think he had one year for the Warriors as well. Um, coach Musselman was he there all three years for you or while you were at Nevada? No, no, no. He uh, no, he stayed for. Uh, I was there for two years, and he had a he stayed. He's there for. Uh, he left the uh, next year after I left. Okay, cause I played for him. <laughs> I played for. I, co- oh, I yeah. played for coach. Man, yeah, I played with him and his son. One AAU summer. We had a pretty good team. It was sponsored by Mike Miller. Uh, you got, you know, uh, okay. Mano, okay. it was like M33. Junior was on that team. Um, Sean Briggs. I don't know if you know Sean Briggs. Sean Briggs yeah. was on that team. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my folks. Uh, man, we had squad, man. We had squad camera. Uh, and uh, Mike, Mike was our coach. Yeah, yeah. Coach, yeah, coach Musselman was our coach, man. Uh, we were good, yeah. good dude. I've been at his house. I've been Black Hawk. Yeah, I've been at his house, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And so when you was at Reno, obviously you made a, a good choice, somewhere comfortable, not not too far from home. How was it like playing in the March Madness tournament? Man, that's probably one of the best experiences, bro. To be honest with you, I mean, uh, I ain't gonna lie. The worst thing that probably that probably made it bad was our charter playing to Milwaukee because we played in Milwaukee it was terrible, bro. It was terrible. But besides yeah. that, I mean, Good being out there. Go down? <laughs> Nah, I'm still, mean, thank God. <laughs> thank God for real. But uh, besides that, I mean, going to the hotel we stayed in, the experience, the fans came out there, but it felt like a real, it didn't feel like an NBA game, but it felt like a, like a football game, but it was for basketball. You know, I got so much people was in there, you know, but it, it was fun, bro. It was a great experience. I'm mad we lost, you know, because I feel like we could have could have beat the team we played, you know, but it was all, I mean, we played against a team, we played against Iowa State. That was a team that had a like, great experience. Had a couple NBA dudes on the team, or whatever. So we was, was the first team that we ain't been an attorney in years, you know what I'm saying? So we had no had no clue how it felt to be there. We you know we just we kind of like headless chickens, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to make things right, you know. So, but uh, it, was, it was a great experience, bro. That, that was probably one of the first things I ever had in my life. I still got like the nameplate uh, when the locker room uh, in March Madness we had it there and stuff. So it was, it was cool. You you didn't you, – you, or, or go ahead, Zach. My bad. Go ahead, Zach. I'm just saying that's dope because even people that go straight to like the big power five. They don't ever get the chance to play an attorney, so never play, yeah. you didn't That's play true, against man. Hawaii at all while you while you were in college, did you Ken? I play I played against uh what's his name? Uh Bobby My boy Bobby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, legit. He he was he the best player I've seen play. <laughs> he said he what? Get, he, he had the game winner against us. We played him in Hawaii. Yeah. Hey, hey, he liked that. So, yeah, like, I remember hey, playing him. Hey, laugh is soft. I remember. He did it on me. <laughs> all right, let's go. Yeah, all right. I think he's gonna be on the show soon, man. That's my folks. I went to Cash and Valley with him. Uh, I tell people all the yeah, time, yeah. I think he was the best. I think he was the best scorer at least like, uh, that year. They had uh, Jabari Brown, Ryan Andrew. They had they had um some talent that year. Yeah, he's a bucket. Rob was a real bucket, man. Real bucket, nice size, big, real nice, solid guard, man. Mm hmm. Damn, like yeah. why you ask that question? Like, yeah, I remember playing Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, me and Kyle, I remember the game, and I thought when you brought the tourney, I felt like they play. I remember Cam playing them in the tourney. It was a tourney. Okay, it was okay. a tourney playing there, yeah. Okay, okay that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, I thought. It was okay. cool. It was cool too. Like, I mean, uh, so we actually did pretty good in that tournament too. So we, when we played against them, we lost. We went with three and one in the tournament, and they beat us by that one point. Go. Okay. 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 You got that game on in the back. Man, <laughs> nah, hey, I, hey, I, I had to take a quick little peek too. It's getting on the fourth quarter. Man, hey, um, I wanted to ask you, Cam. So far in your career, um, in your professional career, you spent time in the G League and overseas. Is the G League talent overall better than the, some of the competition you you faced and seen overseas, or is it is it about the same? Um, uh, no, Lauren Brango. I actually played against. A few people I played in G League overseas, so it was kind of like it was kind of hard to kind of really, I mean, to differentiate they 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 uh style of play. But uh, from from the looks of it, bro, I I, I honestly think it's kind of both the same. Okay, okay, my bad, y'all. But um, good. um, honestly, I think it's kind of both the same. I think I, from G League players, I think some G League players is better than. I think that's in the league, bro. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And overseas is probably the same same way. You know, overseas players is better players in the league. You know, like I played against uh in Australia, I played against a dude named Bryce Cotton. And bro, like I ain't like he he a bucket, bro. He gave us forty five in the first uh playoff and bro, like bucket for sure. You know what I'm saying? He won MVP of the league. So I'm like, bro, there's, there's no way, like I mean, I understand like, everybody's situation is different, you know, everybody comfortable in certain places, but I'm like, bro, yeah, he for sure like he a league player, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't know come across those type of players, you know. So it was, it was. I mean, from from the looks of it, bro, I think anybody can play. Like, I mean, generally, I think anybody can play. But if I, I had to really put a finger on it, I'll probably say, uh, I'll probably say G League players, just because they have a lot more of the exposure in the NBA, like be close in the league, you know what I'm saying? And they got the NBA teams around them and all the whatever, so they know mm -hmm. the certain talent. But I mean, don't don't knock overseas talent either. Oh, definitely not. Who who's who's the best player uh, you played against in your career so far? Uh, that's tough. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. Uh, I think it can be high school, college, professional, anybody. Yeah, anybody. I'm trying, I'm trying. Man. Uh. Or you can just ride. I'll probably say. Um, 
I mean, I play I play with uh, the Trailblazers, bro, in training camp. I mean, I'm not sure guys really count him as anything, but shoot, Dame is probably one of the most coldest players I've ever seen in my life, bro. That's you've been like, around them. Yeah, that's what we're yeah. talking about. You've been around that type of talent. Yeah, yeah, you've seen that. Yeah, like, that's that's probably one of the coldest players I've ever seen, bro. And for him to be so – he's so Oakland in his heart, you know what I'm saying? It's like you can relate to him so easily, bro. And, like, he, he's one of the most humble dudes ever. Like, he's not no cocky dude. He don't, he don't carry around like no – like you feel like it don't stink, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he a real humble dude, bro. And he from the town too, so it's like it makes it makes it even better, bro. Then on top of that, you see what this nigga be doing on the court, bro. It's like it's, it's ridiculous, bro. It's almost amazing all that. A point, it's like, bro, there's no way he's from the same city we from. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, yeah. it's possible you do you can do the things you put your mind into, bro. But definitely, definitely, Dame, definitely seeing him playing with him and against him. You know, like in practice, or whatever. It was pretty, it was pretty dope to see, bro. I- what what sticks out the most to you is it is it athleticism or just how easily he can score? Is is there one thing that just that sticks out to you with this game? Uh, mine is confidence, bro. Okay, I think it's confidence. His confidence is, and you you can tell when he pulling. <laughs> you can tell. Yeah. He, yeah. And he shoot with something like, should he playing right now? Actually, yeah. like yeah. his confidence is so is so ridiculous, bro. And he don't get he don't get startled by nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like like the whole those little couple of days of. Pat Bev and PG went out of, you know, whatever. Like, I came back with 51, you know what I'm saying? I came back with 61, you know, like, I'm not worried about y'all, bro. Like, I got too much confidence in myself, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's confidence, bro. You know, the way he carries himself, you know, it's, it's it's beyond measurable, bro. Like, it's it's crazy to see. Cam, since since you was younger, since I last saw you play, like, in person, fam, I thought you used to be more like a, just a post guy. Now it looks like you turned into, like, a stretch four, like, real wing, wing player. Who do you like to try and model your game after? And if, if no guy at all who bits and pieces of somebody's game, you like to – you know, who do you admire from afar? It's like, man, I, I want my game to be like that. Um, I took a lot of pages out of everybody, bro, to be honest with you. But the person I really kind of started watching, and he was he, he a good friend of me too, is uh, DeMarcus Cousins. Okay. Um, yeah, like he was a – you know, he a big dude, a post move, but we've seen him play. He, like, he can shoot threes, he can pass, he can dribble, we can do it all. You know, so seeing him – kind of involved to that person, I kind of start patting my game after, like, kind of the things he was doing, you know. But I watch other players, too, bro. Like, I watch Montrez Harrell a lot. I watch Draymond Green a lot. Kind of like where uh, I watch a lot of the new age big men, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just yeah. – it ain't about being you no know, post player, turn around, hook shots or whatever. Like, that's dead, bro. Like, nobody ain't looking for that no more, you know. They ain't looking for no mid-range shooters. They're looking for anybody that can dunk, that can shoot threes, you know. So – and I'm like, I can do both, you know what I'm saying? So I, I know I can do that for a fact, you know. So I'm just yeah. I had to develop my game and learn how to dribble more, pass more, bro. Did a lot, a lot of uh, evaluations like off the court, bro. Watch, I watch film myself all day, every day, bro. Like, oh, uh, like I, I probably watch too much, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, yeah. just to see the little, the little nicks I can do and change up and everything, bro. But I mean, besides that, I probably say like, yeah, like Demarcus, Draymond, Montrez, bro. There's like, like a lot, like a lot of dog players, bro. Is there any coach that's helped you uh, with your game, like you play for, that sticks out through your career? Oh, high school, man. College? Many coaches, man. I have so many. Um, I, I, I'm not going to put a finger on it, but to be honest with you, I got so many coaches, man. But I think a person that really kind of uh, – that really probably really, like, really helped me and really tried to talk to me and be there for me was my coach, uh, Ron Dupree. He was, uh, he was with me in Nevada, too. He, he's played for the uh, – he's playing the league, too. He played in the league. I don't know how many years to play, but. Play for like the Bucks, the Raptors. Um, could be another team you play for either, but good dude, man. He was really like a really good dude that was relatable. He talks to me all the time, but I, I, I mean, I can't even, I'm not trying to sing him. I had so many other coaches, you know, that really kind of helped me through my whole career, bro. But if I had to choose one person that really helped me, I mean, him, I do got another guy in Nevada named Brandon Chambers, another guy named uh, Kimbro, you know, um, do muscle men, everybody, but not my coach that I was in, in Australia with Mike Kelly and his staff and everybody, you know, like it was. A lot of people, man, that really helped me in a lot of ways. Cam, yo, with your, during your short stint with the uh, Bucks, did you ever get to see Giannis? And if you did, is he really that damn big? Yeah, I seen him one time. I didn't really like get a check by the conversation with him, though, but nah, bro, he for sure like seven <laughs> foot. <laughs> he <laughs> like he for sure seven foot. Okay. He for sure seven foot, bro. Yeah, he, he he's different, bro. He different. My boy, uh, my boy DJ Wilson on that team. I'll, I'll be talking to him about it. He's like, nah, bro, like, yeah, he. He a different animal, bro. On top of that, he like he like 24, 25. You know what I mean? So Maybe. he still got a whole he got a whole bunch of time, bro. A whole yeah. bunch of time to get and better. You are a hooper, so we gotta ask you, who's your all-time starting five? 
Uh, uh, retired? Uh, it it can anybody. be anything. Your personal favorite from any era, you can throw yourself in there at the four. You, it's whatever, Cam. You feel me? It's your personal list. Like, your, five, your favorite five basketball players. One through five. I'm going to go with Dame. Uh, at the one. Uh, okay, Dame at the one. We got at the two. Uh, the two, I'm going to probably go with uh, Clay. Okay, can't go wrong, Clay. Are you really light the best shooter? Uh, yeah, you're pulling from deep already. Yo, three. I'm gonna go my boy KD. <laughs> That's um, okay. Right now, the phone. Them all snipers right there. Yeah, man. Uh, the four, I probably got a. Uh, I would say LeBron, but. That's everybody's choice, bro. Like, I can't say what you I want. It's, it's your, it's your, you put yourself there if you want. It. Do what you want. Oh, I'll probably go with, uh, shit, I'm going to go with Brian. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to go with Brian. Here. It's like yeah, let let me not overthink it. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to think of a logical alternative. It's, it's, it's not a number. You got to go with Brian. <laughs> I'm going to go with Brian. If I had the five, I'll probably go with uh, Shaq. Okay. Oh, that's, it's over. It's over. Yeah, it's over. The most dominant, man. Yeah. Got it. Oh, I like that. I like that. You got a little, you got the dog at the at the one and the five. Man. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. before we let you go, Cam, I got uh two quick questions for you. First one, do you got any quick uh, rookie prank stories? Any uh, pranks was pulled on you your rookie year? Uh, ooh. I didn't get you. Uh, it probably wasn't as funny, but I mean, I know one time with the Portland, we had to uh, – Austin Blake for the plane, bro. I had to get everybody Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you was late to the plane? Yeah, I was about to be late because I had to order – oh, hell of orders, bro. Like, hell of orders. <laughs> like, my time. Yeah. Like, they ain't, they ain't going to – you know what I mean? Of course, the little rookie's little statement or whatever. And I was with Houston, too. And I know um, Trevor Reza, he had to put me to the side. He like, hey, man. I'm gonna need my towel in my locker every day, bro. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what you mean, bro? He was like, yeah. hey. it was. I mean, a lot of a lot of vets don't kind of really use like, I like with a rookie little haze and stuff, whatever. But he was like, nah, as a rookie, you gotta make sure there's towels in everybody's locker every day, bro. He's like, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna hold you accountable for it. So that's probably one of like the little small things they did. But not, it wasn't like as much, you know. It wasn't like nobody. We all grown men, you know. At the end of the day, so. They ain't really like Zay, 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 could you imagine if Cam fucked up Dame's order? <laughs> Dame <laughs> <took my order? laughs> hey, and I'm, I'm gonna keep it one of them Chick fil A orders be long because I'll be getting two chicken hey. sandwiches. They, they the most customizable order, knowing nothing the same. Yeah, yeah, that, that was crazy, bro. bro. I'd rather do the Chick fil A though than the towels. I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, come, they come with the canes out here too, pretty soon. I don't know if you like canes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it already open? Not yet. Nah, I got one. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Where, where's a little more? Uh, where's the canes at? Where you at, uh, Cam? Uh, they actually building one out here in Shots, but I, bro, we had, we had, we got sponsored by them in Nevada. So, uh, oh, that was fun. after every game we had raising canes, bro. So imagine you got yeah. a dub, you probably went off too, and you going to raising canes, bro. That's, that's <laughs> a win win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, my team was sponsored by Chick Fil A. I got to, that's why I'm tired of Chick Fil A personally now, cause I used to eat that shit after every game. Yeah. I, I can't get tired of chicken, bro. Canes and Chick Fil A any day, any day. Yeah, any I'm not even gonna mess with Canes, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ate it way too much, bro. I ain't, I'm tired of seeing that little toast and everything, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm already, already yeah. known. Oh, right. Go ahead, Zay. You got anything for? Go ahead, Zay. You got anything else today? No, nah, hey, I'm just happy to have you on. Finally got a hooper. I didn't hoop, so you know, I know you and D Lane got to, you know. Uh, talk it out. Like, like, play everything, though. I'm going to replay baseball, too. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm trying to tell him, man. They don't know that. You know, I don't like the back of my He was on the baseball track. That's, that's he, was on, man, he was on the heat team. <laughs> it was me and Kev. I didn't even bring it up to Kev on the on the pods that when we had Kev on the team. But that year in Beirut was my only year in Beirut. And me and Kev, Kev led the league in home runs that year, bro. That's all I got to say, bro. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't okay, wasn't Slater. no baseball player. Oh, God, though, I was really swinging. I was either hitting it or I was striking out. <laughs> every time I'm striking, and I'm swinging. I'm swinging at every time. For the fences. Oh, my mom was yeah. in. They had a okay. few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Before we let you go, Cam, I got to ask you this last question, man. I like to ask all our guests this new question. Um, who should we have on the pod, pod next, Cam? And if you personally know the person, can you, pray, can you give us the lie? Uh, yeah, I, I'll probably say my boy Ivan. Ivan Rare, bro. 
Yeah, I, I, no, I need somebody else. I already got I already got eyes on that. I already got like, you gotta give me somebody else, but I need somebody else. I already got I, you know, I, me and I played on three D three D together. So that's my boy. I already okay. got eyes lined up. Give me one more. Uh dude, I probably see my boy from uh college, man. My boy Jordan Caroline. He doing he doing the same work. Right came out there to Israel with me. Okay. And, uh, he he played with the Lakers and everything too, bro. He got a good story. His pops is uh I mean, he don't really like express it as that, but I'm, so I'm telling y'all. I mean, his pops is Simeon Rice, the old football okay. player. So. I know Simeon. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Played for the Vikings. Probably. They play for the Vikings. They yeah, why not? Uh, the Vikings. Vikings. He played for the Bucks too. Oh, he played for the Buccaneers. Oh no, yeah. the defender, not the receiver. Yeah. I already yeah, know. Yeah. Right. yeah. He yeah, played yeah, on that uh, that Gruden team with the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's uh, but he like, bro, he built like a football player, right? But he hooped. Who? His name Jordan Caroline. He a dog, man. That's that's, okay. that's, that's my home there. He, he went out to Israel thing too. So I'm gonna I'm definitely let him just let him know. He he chilling, bro. Everybody chilling right now. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tap on. Yeah, yeah. Tap him in. Tap in with him for me, family. Tell him uh, the huddle one. I'm on the podcast, and um, I appreciate you again, family. You know it's all love, and you stay safe, brother. And um, just get better, man. Keep getting better, please. It's all good, family. It's all good, man. Yeah, we we'll look forward to your journey. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, Cam. Have a good one, fam. All right, buddy. Still went for it. It's time to change the club.